Well, well, well. Have not made much progress on this project. Last time you guys saw this, it looked about like this. I haven't had any time to kind of organize it. But, like I said in my last video, I am going to Dallas very, very soon. And I'm working on this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the favorite... Hang on. That's a little better. I'm trying to get the favorite rods rigged. I'm trying to get the Guggen baits rigged. I'm trying to get... Ooh, look at that guy. Here we go. We got the MTB Pro Box for the month of February right here. Unfortunately, today... Not able to go open water bass fishing. Like I kind of ex explain. I mean, look outside. Take a gander. Take a gander. Does that look? Does that look like the bass are going to be spawning? No, no, it doesn't. So yeah, as you can see, um, yeah, we're having to do some ice fishing today, and actually we're going to be doing something a little bit different. But before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to today's sponsor, which is Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they send these delicious succulent baits to your doorstep every single month. And if you want bass, you want panfish, you want ice fish, they, they've got a bunch of different types of species. This right here is actually the bass box. I'm getting everything rigged up to go to Texas. I'm getting freaking stoked. But if you want to get your own mystery tackle box, you can actually get it for as low as $5 a box by using promo code smallfish and click the link at the very top of the description. This right here is the bass box for February. We're going to quickly unbox it, kind of get it organized here with all my all my shenanigans, and then uh, and then we're gonna go ice fishing. All right, so inside my mystery tackle box, what do we have? We have a heavy metal tungsten finesse football jig, black and blue color. We've got a square bill, a little chartreuse with like a dark green back. This is a Max Lures Crank X. Looks like maybe like a 1.5 size. This guy, wow, that is huge. A Weston, it looks like a little lipless crankbait type deal, but it's a big one. It's that's that that's gonna catch a mono right there. Next, we've got an I'm a jerk bait. Jerk baits are really, really good early spring. So I'll definitely be tying that guy on. We've got big bite baits. Yeah, that's just a little swim bait deal. Basically, you throw something like a shaky head, back of a finesse jig, something like that. That'd work well. Next, we've got a riot bait. This is just a little stick bait. Again, one of the actually it's kind of that's weird looking. Check this out. It looks like this. It's like got like bulbs on. I've never actually seen that before. I bet Wacky Rig would be insane with that thing because it would the, basically the weight's over here, the weight's down here. Oh, wow. Yep. We're going to be Wacky Rigging that guy. Oh, look at that. Some Wacky Rig hooks. That makes sense. It's almost like a bass fish before. It's almost like they make these boxes to where you can use the hooks with the baits. This has all the stuff that came inside the box. If you guys want to screenshot to see the prices, names exactly of what's going on right there, but that's, that's pretty much that. So that is the February bass box for Mr. Tackle Bus. Like I said, if you guys want to sign up, click the link at the very top of the description, use promo code SMALLFISH, and you can get a box for as low as $5. But huge thanks to those guys for sponsoring this video. I'm getting amped. I'm getting ready for Dallas, but we can't go to Dallas quite yet. We're, we're, we, I got to stay here. I've got some obligations to do this weekend, and I just can't leave yet. At some point, this will all be organized, and we will be fishing in Texas. You guys stay tuned. A few moments later. Whew. Here we are, folks. We are at Walmart. We are going to be buying some stuff for a pet fish. Oh yeah, she's filled with snow. Forgot to cover that last night. We've been just getting an absolutely ridiculous amount of snow. Like before, before we, me and John came here, actually, we got the boots on. No Th Crocs today. No Crocs. No Crocs. Crocs today. were not allowed today. We got like nine inches of snow last night. It's just been unreal. We're tired of this stuff. Like I said, I am going to Dallas next week. I am tired of the cold, but. We need to catch a pet fish, um, and we're gonna actually go to the Brute Bakery to do it. Those little green sunfish actually make really cool pets because they're small, they're low maintenance, and they're actually fairly aggressive compared to normal bluegills. So you can actually like hand feed them and stuff. And like I, I did this, I think it was last year I did it, and then I ended up releasing them. But now I've got a new house, it's bigger, I've got more space, I'm about to get hit by a car. We figured why not? Why not get another pet? I've got fin, but I could always use a pet fish. In this spring, obviously we're gonna try to get rid of those green sunfish, so I would like to keep a couple of them and uh, you know, raise them as pets. Teach them how to do tricks, all that fun stuff. Yeah, let's get a cart. This might get out of hand. All right, here we go. I'm pretty sure last time I had like a 20, I want to say 20. I mean, that's pretty decent sized. I mean, we, we probably want, I think I had two last year. From what you guys, a lot of you viewers know a lot more than me, but I'm going to do my best to take what I've learned from last year's video and do this more of the correct way because there's a lot of things I messed up on. Yeah, in a 20 gallon, it's got to be plenty for two small green sunfish. If you guys disagree, well, I disagree with you. We're gonna have to agree to disagree. That's probably gonna be the move there, that guy. We're good. This kit includes all this. This is what we need. Oh, okay, so it comes with a filter. That's good. So we did. Need, we don't really need a fish net. An air pump. I've already got that. We're good there. Gravel cleaner. That's overrated. We don't need that. We'll just change the water. 20 pounds of gravel. We need that. A heater. We don't need that because we're gonna be inside. It'll be fine. Safe start. Let's do safe. Safe start and gravel. And I think 
I think we're good to go. So I, I literally already have this. I bought this the other day and I've got that one. So I know we're good on that. It already comes with a filter, that, that's good. We need gravel. Gravel, right here. Did this say 20 pounds of gravel? No way. Mm -hmm. Well, that's five. You need four of these? No way. That is excessive. We do not need that much gravel, dude. Whatever, we'll do what they say. Grab three. You know what, I don't agree, but you know, I'm not gonna argue with the aquaculture people. I'm sure they know a lot more than I do. This is where it gets cool. Yeah, all right, what's the theme? What's the theme gonna be? The Hawaiian theme. Hawaiian, <laughs> some Hawaiian green sunfish? Pirates of the Caribbean. We could do that. I think that might be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Like they like to hide inside stuff. So you definitely want to get like at least two things that one, one in each could hide in. I mean like this guy, they could probably, see you just want to make sure like it's big enough. Like that's gotta be a big enough hole. This would, they would definitely hide in this thing. We could get that. That's one big one. Then we could maybe get like this one and then a like a smaller. Yeah, I get those, those barrels barrel? are kind of dope. Oh yeah, I see. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they'll hide in the back. Okay, dope. Let's get right. that. So that, that looks, doesn't look at all like it fits. This is like Hawaiian <laughs> theme. That's like. Eh. Should, we, should we just follow the Pirates of the Caribbean theme? I mean, we're, I, think, I feel like we're kind of overthinking this at this point. Pretty much. Okay, screw it. Grab the barrels. We're getting this thing. We can get We can get a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of the vegetation. Okay. I don't think they really... Last time I remember, they didn't really care for it, but uh, we could try it. We could get that. Just get that. Get some grass. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that should be enough cover. I mean, this is a 20-gallon tank. I don't remember how mine, big mine was last year. True. I thought it was 10. This thing is pretty big, but so... No, I think we'll be okay. You want to make yeah, sure yeah. they've got cover. They, they feel secure. If you guys have ever caught green sunfish, they like to like bury inside rocks and stuff like that. So any cover that you can get is, is good. What else did we need? Tetra. Safe start. Okay. Cycles new aquariums. That's important. Helps optimize water quality. Okay, we'll get... Okay, I got one of those. What else? What about aqua safe? Does it say anything about that? Okay, let's get that. Okay, we'll do we'll do this. This should be good enough. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, the filters. We can come back and get some more later. We've got three different chemicals. chemicals. We have safe start, easy balance, and then something that makes tap water safe. Well, our plan is we're going to go home, we're going to set all this up, and then we're going to let it chill for a few days. Kind of let the water just, you know, do its thing. You got to wash off the gravel. I remember the comments from last year. And then we're going to catch green sunfish and then put them in there. That way, hopefully they don't die. The last years, I just tossed them in some regular tap water, sprinkled some sauce in there, and it was, you're good to go. But I want to make sure that these guys live. So we're going to do it the correct way, at least as correct as I know how. How many sharks? We got everything? Oh, those are sharks? Eventually. Yeah. You ready to have a brother or sister? You're not gonna be the only pet in the house. What do you think about that? You getting you gonna be kind of pissed? Step one, take your gravel. I learned this from you guys in the comments. You gotta wash the gravel. There's some stuff on here that might not be good for the fish. So we got a little colander strainer thingy and we're gonna wash this gravel. We've got four bags to wash. Hopefully it doesn't go through the cracks. I'd be a lot smaller pebbles than I thought. Rocks are good for the plumbing system. All right, next step, lay, lay said rocks in the, uh, in the little, the, 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 the tank. And repeat that process uh, three more times. All right, now that you got the rocks in there, kind of bury these guys a little bit. This is gonna be the structure for the fish, a rock formation, as well as some, uh, I don't know what those are, barrels, I guess. And then we've even got a little bit of vegetation for them. Actually, we'll do this. Put the vegetation right there in the middle. You can kind of just cover it up with rocks. Basically, you just don't want to pour water in here and these things start floating everywhere. There you go. Look at that. I'd like to live there. It looks pretty nice. Your next step, pour the water into the fish tank. Try to do that about three more times. Four more times. You should be good.
Well, um, looks like a fish tank. It's a little murky, but it's not bad. Well, everything kind of laid out. The rock isn't completely level, but hey, there's nothing level in nature. It's not gonna be perfect, so it'll work. So now the next part is uh, install this filter. This is the first one. This is the second one right here. I'll install this one. I don't think this one has a tube. I need to get a tube for it, but that's just an aerator. This is the actual filter itself. Install blue side towards back of filter. That doesn't sound very good. Fish sticks are a lot of work. I'll tell you what, they're they're, they're quite a bit of work, but should be worth it. That guy's up and ripping, that's good. We don't have any fish in here. We're gonna wait probably two or three days before we add any fish. We're gonna make sure the water kind of gets cleaned out, acclimated. We gotta add some of this stuff. Just to start, add an entire bottle for up to 20 gallons. All right, that's done. 10 milliliters for every five gallons. That means we need 40 milliliters. That's good enough. Had 10 milliliters for every 10 gallons. Now we need 20 milliliters. Done. What do you guys think? You guys pretty impressed? I'm pretty impressed. I think I think it looks good. I think it's it's definitely plenty of water and space for two. We could probably bring home maybe three or four green sunfish. But like I said, we're gonna let this chill for a couple days and then we're gonna go down to Brute Bakery. The Brute Bakery, if you guys that don't know, is a pond that I'm trying to manage. It's a private pond and we're trying to get rid of the green sunfish. So before we take them all out, Figured let's keep some as pets and uh, and have some fun with them. Maybe teach them some tricks, feed them, do some feeding videos for you guys. I know you guys love that stuff. Yeah, I'll see you guys out on the lake. Three days later. Woo, good morning, folks. All right, change of plans. Well, we were gonna go to the farm. We did go to the farm. We went to the farm, um, actually two days. I went one of the days and then Bonzel and John went the other day. And how'd, how'd that go for you? I didn't catch one fish. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, so um, we went to the farm to catch the green sunfish and we did not catch any, which is crazy because we caught hundreds the day was before, like a week before we caught hundreds. Didn't catch anything, so then I had to leave and go to Florida, and so th him and John went there with the pan optics, with the fancy gadget magismos, went there to see where these fish are, because they can't hide from it. They found them, and they would not bite. Like, they were literally just, we thought they all died. We, I, I think it's like kind of like a winter kill thing where they're almost about dead, because it's been so cold here. This has been the coldest winter that we've had in such a long time. We've had the most snow ever. I mean, look at this snow. What the hell? Like, this is just, it's just unreal. I wanted to finish this video. I wanted to catch a pet fish. It is not coming from the Brute Bakery. We're just at a local pond here. We have no idea if there's going to be any bluegills in here, green sunfish or bass or what it's going to be. But we came here to catch our pet fish to wrap this video up. And then maybe this spring when the fish hopefully aren't too dead at the Brute Bakery. We'll bring some home then. But anyways, that's basically what's going on right now. You guys stay tuned. Oh, let's hope you don't fall through. Look how deep this is. I know. I feel like I'm, trek I feel like I'm trekking through Antarctica right now. Uh-oh. Is this open water? What is this? That's, dude, that's probably not good. What? Dude, this is like, are we about to fall through? Why is there so much water right there? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're falling through the ice right here. I don't like this. Can we not? No, dude, we got to fish. We don't have a choice. We gotta get our pet fish. Dude, what? Look, okay, this, no, look at this. This is not normal. I don't know what the deal is, but that's. Dude, it's like one degree out. How is it like this? How is it? I guess is the, the snow. snow's gotta insulate it. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable walking on that though. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm about to just fall through. Yeah, I know. Oh, what the hell? There's like four feet of snow or four feet of ice. Oh, nice! Drop it down! I think there's enough ice. Yeah. There's just like six inches of whatever this is. This is crazy. Why is there so much water? I don't understand that part. I'll be honest, I've never been this nervous to ice fish before. I've never seen anything like this. There's like six inches of water on top of the ice. And then there's like three inches of snow on top of the water. It doesn't make any sense. Well, we didn't die. I don't know how. But I'm going to drill a hole. Hopefully this doesn't die. I didn't bring any guns for backup, so that's not gonna be good. This is the weirdest ice I've ever freaking seen. It's like two layers. Yep, there's fish down there, they're swimming. 
This is good. This is really good. You know, I'll take kind of whatever. I'll take whatever bite. We need a name. You guys need to comment a name down below for Buddy after we catch him. Oh, oh. Yep. Got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude, that was a big bass. Really? Dude, he came in and just smoked it. I couldn't get the deucer out of the way in time. Oh my gosh. He smoked it. 12 seconds later. Got him. Got him. Got him. Finally. We've been having the toughest time out here, folks. I'm, I'm done ice fishing. I'm telling you guys. This is probably the last video you guys are going to see ice fishing. Perfect little pet fish right there. How excited, how excited are you? You're gonna, you're gonna meet your new brother or sister. I don't know what gender they are, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Are you excited? You seem pretty excited, what do you think? What do you think? Hey, don't eat your brother. Come on now, chill, you just met. No, no, don't you. Just sniff, sniffs. Say hello. Okay. I know you're supposed to kind of get them acclimated to the water, but look at him, he just swam out of my hand, so he's fine. What's he doing? He's chilling. Oh, he's, he's hanging out. He's hanging out. He's good. Oh, yeah, he's good. Well, folks, we are done here. Normally, you're supposed to kind of, like, get the fish kind of, like, acclimated to the to the water, but didn't really have a chance to do that. I was just going to kind of, like, hang, like, let him just kind of hang out, but he's good. He's fine. He's just doing whatever you guys come up with him things. Whatever you name him, comment down below. If I pick you, maybe I'll get some rods or, or some Guggen baits or something like that. I'll give you something if I end up picking your name, but anyways... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the pet fish video, if you want to see us to get some other things, get, get some more fish in the fish tank, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace!